Before getting started, I'm excited to partner with PayPal on this video to share their new and improved integration guides. I'll be taking you through the new features of PayPal's checkout integration guides and why you should use them when you integrate PayPal into your existing tech stack. PayPal's checkout integration guides make the integration process intuitive, interactive, and easy to do. Developers experience step-by-step -step instructions that they can follow to successfully integrate as well as experience some really awesome new features like the visual previews, interactive active previews of code that can be copied and pasted into your development environment and built in PayPal sandbox so that you can test, troubleshoot and update your code all without leaving the guide. To access the integration guides, head over to PayPal's developer website and click docs online and check out. From there, you will see four options, standard, advanced, no code and enterprise. Standard checkout helps you get set up quickly to accept PayPal, Venmo, PayLater, and major credit cards. Advanced checkout helps you customize the checkout to match your site's branding, including Fastlane by PayPal, which I think is going to revolutionize the payment industry, and I share why and how in this video. PayPal's no-code checkout solution helps you get payment links, buttons, and QR codes with no coding required. And Enterprise is for large companies. For our tutorial today, I'll walk you through the standard checkout integration process and show you the features of the interactive guide and make the process seamless and easy to do. Starting with the overview. This outlines the range of payment methods you can offer your customers along with helpful links on your development environment, sample apps, and more resources. Next is the getting started section. We all lack a good diagram of how a workflow fits together for each step to provide a full picture of the development cycle. So this covers the technical overview of the workflow and how PayPal checkout works from login, capturing the order, handling callbacks and approvals. Then we can see the checkout experience customers will see throughout the workflow. There are instructions to set up your dev environment along with a helpful step-by-step -step walkthrough in the demo video at the bottom. Now let's take a look at the integration process. This has been redesigned to offer a more intuitive experience for developers. It takes you through both the front-end and the back-end integration. This page covers the steps, language selection drop-down, code panel, and preview panel. We also have links to third-party cloud IDEs like GitHub Codespaces and Postman along with a sample code download. A big enhancement compared to the previous guide is how interactive it is. As we go through the steps, the code will get highlighted in the panel as we select it or make changes. So you know the exact lines of code to copy then paste it into your development environment. Styling the checkout buttons for your website is easy and fast with a simple drop-down selections menu. This feature is a massive time saver without having to open multiple tabs and alternate between our IDE and browser, so it's a much better experience to integrate now. Then we have an optional step to support multiple shipping options, and another big improvement is in-page sandbox testing. We can also see real-time log capabilities for necessary troubleshooting. The rest of the integration covers the steps to configure your backend code and the testing section. For a better experience, I'd recommend logging into your PayPal developer account to get your sandbox credentials on the top right of the page. Once you are ready to go live with your integration, follow the simple checklist in step five. And that is a quick look at PayPal's new and improved integration guides. Let me know what you think and what update you are excited to try out. Thanks for watching and cheers for now.